Trump campaign feeling very good about last night. The Republican nominee made his case. Now he heads to two stops today, I believe, in Pennsylvania, key battleground state where he has been behind uh, recently over the past, I would say, six to eight weeks or so. He's got a rally there later today. He hopes to turn that around. David Bossi is Trump's deputy campaign manager, and he joins us this morning. David, good to have you with us today. Oh, thanks for having me. I guess what a difference 24 hours can make, um, because everybody was pretty much writing off your campaign. Hillary Clinton said it was exploding. Other people said that, you know, it could just completely fall apart last night. Uh, so you probably feel pretty good about how he did. You know, I really do, and I think any objective uh, person would feel the same, that, that, that Donald Trump won the debate, and I personally think he won it decisively. Uh, Donald Trump proved last night that he's a fighter, that he would fight for America just like he fought uh, during the debate last night. And, and, and let me tell you, Hillary Clinton showed uh, America uh, a lot about herself last night. She was meandering uh, in her answers. She didn't have clear, concise answers on her policy objectives. And when, uh, when, you know, uh, when Donald Trump brought forward these litany of, of her assaults on women, uh, she really could not answer them. And so she had to pivot away to things that were far afield from the question. So, you know, we won this debate. Donald Trump won this debate. We didn't win it. Donald Trump single-handedly went in there, David versus Goliath, taking on the media, taking on the other two moderators, too, I might, have, might add. Mm -hmm. And um, it was just a, a tremendous night for Donald Trump. All right, so a couple things that have to be dealt with if you're going sure. to, if your campaign is going to move the needle, with particularly with women. What does he plan to do? You know, what's your campaign plan going forward to try to shore up? Because, you know, he had a good night, but there are some people for whom the memory of what he said on this tape is going to linger. Oh, look, you know, Donald Trump apologized. I think he, he first and foremost apologized to his family and, and recognized that, uh, you know, what he had done previously was, was not right. But he, he, is a, uh, you know, he was a contrite uh, uh, man last night, I think, in, in his apology. And I think that he is now going to look forward and to the future of this campaign. And I think that's one of the reasons that he is the nominee and one of the reasons that he has resonated with the American people and why the American people are, 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 have created this army of Trump, really this massive groundswell of folks. And I think that I much like what happened in Europe with the Brexit vote, there's going to be an underlying issue here. But that in order to do that, David, excuse me for jumping in, but we're almost out of time. In order sure. to do that, he's going to have to keep the focus on issues, keep the focus on the American people, make and the America great again. But you know that there is an army of people out there who want to drop more of these tapes. How are you going to, how are you going to deal with that? I think Mr. Trump dealt with it over the last couple of days saying, this is not who he is today. And over the last 16 months, 18 months, he has been a changed man as, he gone, as he's gone around the country and, and met people, traveled and campaigned across this great country of ours. Uh, and, and he's just uh, uh, looking forward to talking about the issues. And I think that's really, if he's able to keep it on the issues, look, Hillary look, Clinton no said, that's you know, what he wants to low, do, but high. I just want to, really you know, just the... talk real, realistically here. You know what the other mm -hmm. side wants to do. There's discussion about potential apprentice tapes, things that might be on there. How aware of these tapes are you guys? And, you know, are, do you feel like you have a handle on what might be coming down the pipeline? You know what's coming down the pipeline is enormous rallies today in Pennsylvania. Donald Trump's going to have tens of thousands of people attending rallies, and we're not concerned at all about the, you know, the low level that, that Clinton has brought this campaign into the gutter with. Look, that's what she wants to do. We'll handle it, and we'll kick these things a, right. away one at a time. It's not a problem for us. We're going to talk about the issues.